Now we've drawn and designed the circuit board, the only thing left is to physically place the order. So in order to order circuit boards with factories, you need to convert your PCB drawing from whichever software you're using into an industry standard so that factories can produce the board. The standard is a Gerber file, uh, as well as an NC drill file that is for the specific holes in the board, the drill holes. Uh, but generally the Gerbers contain the NT drill files, it depends on your software. But they're the two formats you have to create in order to send this to a factory for production. So we're going to go ahead and show you now how I create the Gerber files in Ultium. And in EasyEDA, it's simply a one-click button. So I'll show you that as well. We'll then place the order for the circuit board with a factory. And then once it arrives, we'll solder it up and test that everything's okay. So let's just jump in now and have a look at how we create Gerber files, view Gerber files, and place an order. So now we have the circuit board designed, it's time to make the production ready files so that we can order the circuit board. Those are called Gerber files, and in Ultium, we just have to right click on the project, add new to project, and click output job file. This will make a new window like this, uh, with everything blank here. And we can make many more things, such as 3D prints, assembly drawings, bill of materials. Right now, the only thing we care about, however, is Gerber files and drill files. So if we just click the Add New Fabrication Output, click Gerber File and PCB Document, it will make a new instance in here. If we double click that, we set this up to millimeters and four colon four, that's my preference. You can use inches or millimeters, it's up to you. Just make sure that you keep the size standard the same between NC drill files and Gerber files. And I'd always go with the highest accuracy. So this is the accuracy. So it's four, uh, three is less accurate, two is the least accurate. So basically all I'm doing is selecting millimeters as my desired units and the most accurate file. In layers, I want to include every single layer because obviously we're producing a Gerber file that wants every single layer in the file. And the way that most factories determine what the shape of your board is, is by simply having the board layer appear on every single other layer so that that outline is always present. So that's what this right hand side column is for. Mechanical layers that should be added to all plots. So I'm going to check the one for the board here. Uh, I'm going to go to drill drawings and include the drills and the Gerbers as well, just in case. So the more information the factory have, the better. And click OK. In order to produce this file now, we select folder structure over here because it's going to produce specific files inside of a folder and just click the little circle over here. This adds a green arrow saying that it's going to be produced when we click generate content over here. Because I've already got that file, I'll just delete it. We've got that one here that you can see is set up exactly the same. And then finally, add new fabrication output, uh, NC drill files, PCB document. Do the same for this, set it to millimeters and the most accurate, and click OK. Again, I've already got the file above, so I'll just delete that. So that's all there is to tell Ultium to now produce Gerber files uh, for this PCB. So in order to actually produce them, if we go to the folder itself where these files are, if we then click Generate Content, it will generate the Gerber files, the drill files, and in this case the bomb as well, because I've added that. It also tries to open them all, so I'll just close them all back down. And you can see in the folder now we have output. And we have the bill of materials. Uh, we have the Gerber files, which is the ones we're interested in. And we have the drill files. So we now have the files we need to produce the circuit board. And let me just quickly show you in Easy EDA, if you're using Easy EDA. Uh, it's even simpler. So you just open up the PCB file that you're interested in. Click Fabrication and PCB fabrication file. You can run the check or not. And then you can also automatically order through JLC PCB by just clicking the order button because EZDA is made by JLC PCB or rather the, the same company in essence own both uh, platforms. Or you can just click generate Gerber here which will download a zip file containing the same Gerber files that we've just seen. So that's all there is to making the files ready to send to a factory for production. So we can go ahead and zip up the Gerber and NC drill files and create what I then like to see as my release files. 
So I always keep one that is just the Gerber and NC drill files, which is for PCB production. Uh, and then I keep another zip file that has everything, which is the bomb, the drill files, the 3D prints, the assembly. This is for when you send it to a factory who are going to mass produce it for you. So we'll go through all this again once we come to mass production. Uh, but all we're interested in now is the Gerber only file. We just need to go and order this file online. Before we do that, it's always a good quick step to make sure uh, that the Gerber files look correct. If you just search for Gerb V in Google, it will take you to this page. You can click download to download the Gerber file. And then if you open up Gerb V, click the blue plus at the bottom left. And in that Gerber file that we generated, if we select all the files that start with .g at the end, you can then click open. It will open up uh, a visual representation of what you're about to produce with the factory, which should look the same as your actual file in Ultium or EZDA. You can see you can also check each layer as well individually. So you can uncheck certain layers and take a look at different parts of the design on its own. You don't necessarily need to understand all these layers. It's just important that the design looks correct and looks like what you're about to produce before you upload it for production. So now we have the file ready, I'm going to use JLC PCB to produce these files for us. Uh, most people use either JLC PCB or PCB Way. Uh, I've never really used PCB Way, I've only ever used JLC. They seem to do a good job and I'm happy with them, so that's where I kind of stay. Uh, all you have to do on the home page is click Add Gerber File. We'll upload the Gerber file that we produced, the zip file. And then in a moment you should see a preview image of the circuit board. Sometimes this preview doesn't show the holes correctly, that's about the only thing I notice doesn't work right sometimes in their preview. Uh, but all these designs are looked over by actual engineers, so PCB uh, factory engineers. Uh, they know what they're on about, they do contact you if there's any doubt or any questions about the design. It's not just a generic upload your file and hope for the best, this is a you know professional service. So don't worry too much if the design doesn't look quite right like the holes missing here. If it looked completely different or everything was green all around, there's a sign that you're missing something. So the board shape should show correctly like this, but the holes sometimes are missing. All these options here, don't worry yourself too much about them. Uh, you'll use these over time, but for now, we want to know how many do we want, uh, the thickness of the board, and how long it's going to produce, uh, how long it's going to take to produce. So you can see at the minute, it's a one to two day production. It's going to cost $6. Now, quantity 5 is fine for us, it's just a quick prototype. Uh, thickness, however, because this is a flexible circuit board, when we finally come to produce it, this will want to be a flexible PCB, not rigid. So we'll go with the thinnest rigid board of 0.4mm, which will help give us the best possible fit um, in the board to test the prototype works. It's still going to be too thick for production, hence why we'll use flexible circuit board, which is about 0.18mm thick. But for now, 04 gives us that ability to be close enough and still rapid produce the circuit board at a cheap cost. You can see the time's gone up to three days now and the price has gone up to $50 from six. Uh, that's mainly because the surface finish has had to be improved to Enig. Enig is electroless nickel immersion gold plating, which basically means that the circuit board is treated electrically with nickel and then gold. Uh, so the surface finish ends up with the gold finish you expect on all circuit boards that you see. Uh, that cost here is $17. If we were to go back to 1.6 mil thick and hassle, you'll see there's no surface finish. As soon as you add Enig, the surface finish cost goes on. Hassle is just tin and lead, so it just looks like you've soldered onto the board and it's not a very good finish. Um, but that's what that is. PCB colour we don't care about for a prototype. Silk screen is the emulsion over the top, the writing. Um, in this case, it's white, which is fine again. Copper weight we don't care about until we get into designing battery chargers, power management ICs, things that you know require a lot of heat dissipation. That's when I'd go to thicker copper. Gold fingers are things like PCB I boards where they insert into another connector. So the copper itself is directly connecting to another part of a board. In that case, when they make gold fingers, they make the adhesion much stronger. 
uh, tests, all these aren't really important. Castellated holes are holes at the edge of the board that are plated all the way around. Again, something we don't need right now. So none of these options you really care about. Uh, all we care about is we want five of them, we want them as thin as possible, and that's it. And it's going to now cost us $56, and it's going to take three days. So if we just add that to cart, pay for it and check out, and the circuit boards will arrive in no time at all. And through the magics of video editing, we now have the circuit board here in record time. So this is the first round, the production file that we've just received. And we can go ahead and let's quickly just test that this fits on the board. So it should do, based on the fact that we've actually scanned the board really accurately. And it does look like it's fitting pretty well. So everything seems to line up, the holes here, the holes here, looking at the power connectors. It all seems to be pretty well aligned. So I guess the next step then is to build this up and test it works.